Threaded bottom brackets used to be pretty much a standard across all bikes. However, more modern bikes have moved across to press fit designs, designs such as BB30, BB86, BB92, PF30, BB Right. Yeah, there's quite a lot of different types out there. However, in the last few years, we've seen brands start to move back to threaded bottom brackets. So in this video, we're gonna to explain to you how to remove and install a threaded bottom bracket. It's a pretty simple process, so let's get started. Now, broadly speaking, threaded bottom brackets will fall into one of two categories, English or Italian. The main difference being the shell width between them. English or BSA bottom brackets, as they're known, are 68 or 73 millimeters wide. Italian bottom brackets tend to be 70 millimeters wide. Now, although they differ in their widths, the biggest difference of all is between the threads on the bottom brackets. Now, pay attention. Now, English bottom brackets have a reverse thread on the drive side cup. And this is gonna mean that the non-drive side cup tightens up clockwise as usual, and the drive side tightens up anti-clockwise. So it's important to note that. The reasoning behind this is to stop the drive side crank working its way loose through the constant rotation of the axle inside the bottom bracket. Italian bottom brackets, however, have a regular thread on both the drive side and the non-drive side. This will mean that to undo both sides, you'll undo them by turning them anti-clockwise and tighten them up by turning them clockwise, just as you would with any bolt. It's not quite so common for manufacturers to use Italian bottom brackets, but they are common amongst brands such as Pinarello. Now, many manufacturers did move away from this just to reduce that risk of the bottom brackets working the way loose, but it's not a problem we tend to see very often. Now, there are other types of threaded bottom bracket, however, English and Italian are the two most common standards. So the beauty of a threaded bottom bracket is it's actually fairly simple to remove and install, meaning that you're only actually gonna need a few tools to do the job. To do this, we're gonna need the tool to remove the end cap of the Shimano cranks, the relevant bottom bracket tool, this time it's the Italian style, a 5 wheel Allen key, and also to torque everything up correctly at the end, our torque wrench. Now that we know which tools we're likely to need, we can make a start and remove the cranks from the bike to allow us to gain access to the bottom bracket. Now that we've got the cranks removed, we can take our tool and correctly install it onto the bottom bracket to make sure we don't risk slipping and damaging the threads. That's gonna make your life a whole lot harder removing the bottom bracket. Guide the tool in, line the splines up, make sure it's sat nice and square, use one hand to hold it in place, and then we can lever, apply a bit of force, gradually undo that, just like so. With that nice and loose, we should be able to remove the rest of it by hand. So with the drive side removed, we can now move to the non-drive side, paying attention to fit the tool correctly, hold it in place, and then turn the tool counterclockwise to undo. Oh, there we go. Carefully guiding that out. The same again with the drive side. Once it's out, we should be able to loosen it with our hands and remove that all of the way out of the frame. With the bottom bracket removed, we can now see inside the frame to examine the threads and it also gives us an opportunity to clean inside, remove any old grease and grime that's worked its way in. Now that the bottom bracket's removed and we've cleaned the area up, we can examine the threads and see that they're perfectly fine to use again. Now in this case, we can go ahead and reinstall fresh grease into the bottom bracket area. Now, if you've found that the threads are damaged, they're gonna to need to be recut. And to be honest, that's probably a job for the bike shop. Now we've got the frame prepared, we can move on to reinstalling the bottom bracket. Now it's important to note that many bottom brackets are left and right sided specific. So double check that, it's often stamped onto the bottom bracket itself. Once we know which way round to install the bottom bracket, we can go ahead and install some grease onto the threads, the same as we did with the frame. This will make sure you don't run into any trouble later on down the line when you come to replacing it. When going ahead to install the bottom bracket, it's important to start the threads off by hand. This will ensure that you don't run into any problems by cross-threading it. Then we can move on to installing the drive side. Again, carefully starting this off by hand to ensure that we don't cross the threads. When installing the bottom bracket by hand, it is important to know that if you do feel any resistance or grinding of the threads, do stop immediately, because chances are you've cross-threaded it 
and it's worth taking it back out and checking you've lined it up correctly. Most importantly of all, don't just go ahead and carry on tightening it. Now that we've wound the bottom bracket in as far as we can with our hands, we can go ahead, use the tool, fitting it correctly onto the bottom bracket, and then torque it up to the correct manufacturer's specifications, torquing up each side evenly. Now bottom brackets do have quite a high torque rating, and if you have a torque wrench suitable for this, it's best to use it. But if you don't, you can always just do it up nice and tight. Now this bottom bracket we're using today has a torque rating of 35 to 45 newton meters, so that's what we're going to set it to. Now all bottom brackets differ slightly, so it's important to check with your manufacturer what yours is. So we'll guide the tool onto the bottom bracket, as the same as we did for when we removed it, hold it on nice and square, and then securely take this down to torque it up until you hear your torque wrench click. So there you have it, guide it on, line it up, push down nice and hard till the torque wrench clicks. And then we're going to repeat the process just as we did here for this side. So hold the torque wrench on nice and tight, hold it on until it clicks like that. With the bottom bracket correctly torqued up, it's quite simply a case of just refitting the crank. And that really is about it. It's a pretty simple process and it makes it clear as to why some manufacturers are moving back to threaded bottom brackets. Now I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have give us a like and a thumbs up and as always let us know in the comments section down below if you have any maintenance videos you'd like to see. Thanks for watching and see you later.